I love you, Sayori. Oh, -ho! we confessed. Yes. The zipper free, Sayori is able to wiggle out of her dress, and a far away part of me understands why she was so cold. With the dress off, the only thing she's left is in is her underwear. <laughs> Suit my hat. Oh, <laughs> hey, fellow knights, Finn here. And uh, well, what do you guys think? I was wearing a suit for uh, for something special for this video because you know what video this is. So uh, yeah, uh, I don't know though. I just felt like it. And uh, if you remember last time's video, which I'll get into, yeah, I guess I might wear something special for this video, really. And yes, I know the hat doesn't really match up to all of this and all, but still, 100 subs for a hair reveal for future videos of me hatless sometimes. So yeah. So, welcome back to Doki Doki Blue Skies, and last time, Sayori went back to her house after a short time with me because she has a surprise in store for me, and I'm rummaging in the closet for a dress shirt. Well, I think it's a much better to wear a wear suit to, uh, to impress Sayori, but who knows, we'll see about that. And also, Momsy went home because of, well, work and all and we had a picnic with the lurcher club so with those events aside i'm not sure what the surprise will be so we're gonna jump straight through the straight through it or right now so you guys know the drill and what time is it it's doki doki time it's kind of hard to tell me what to wear when the whole thing is meant to be a surprise still i reckon this one will do nicely i'll pack a hoodie in my backpack too just in case oh yeah a hoodie uh, sure why not but well I have a coat, so that, that should come in handy too. After freshening up, I stand in front of the mirror, nervously checking how I look. I get the feeling we're going to some kind of restaurant, although I can't imagine why. It's not like today is Valentine's or anything like that. Makes for some nice variety at least. Either way, I want to look nice. Well, it looks like it's time to meet her. After trying to smoothen my hair one last time, I head out. Sayori is already there by the time I arrive at her house. Hey! Oh! Sayori! Are you wearing your, your red dress? Oh my glob, you... You look... You look absolutely beautiful and... Well, she she looks like a like a proper princess now, and oh man, uh, looks like um not entirely sure what the surprise is unless if it's her wearing the dress and all. I'll take it. Wow, Sayori, you look like an ostrich. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Finn. I'm glad you like it. You always look nice, but this is something else. It is. Uh. Earth to Finn? Oh, sorry. Someone's getting into the spirit of the day. She giggles and loops her hand with mine. I can smell her perfume, which only adds to her allure. You look really handsome, by the way. Like one of those fancy spies. Oh! Well then, I guess wearing the suit really does fit this one after all. <laughs> Don't overdo it. So, uh, where are we going? You'll see. Here we are. We're standing in front of a fancy looking restaurant. Looks like my hunch was correct. Oh, no way. What? This is the exact restaurant I was going to take you on Valentine's Day. Really? Yep. Did you get the recommendation from Monica by any chance? I sure did, and I'm guessing you did too. She nods, giggling. <laughs> well, um... Well then, both from Monica, that's fine, I guess, because, well, she is the uh, the, cl the Lurcher Club president, after all. Wow, what are the chances? I guess we really do think alike. So that explains her dress and why you want me to wear a smart shirt. Or dress shirt? I don't know. Whoops, forgot to say that. It all makes sense now. Sorry, it was really hard to tell you about the dress code while trying to keep the whole thing a secret. I must have sound so awkward. Nah, I get your reasoning. Besides, I'm really hungry, so let's just head in. Well then, ladies first. Oh wow, 
This place looks nice. So this is the beehive? Looks good. And man, this this music. I remember last time that I said yeah like jazz in well in previous Doki Doki Blue Skies video. Well, I really like this music. Man, uh mod dev team, anyone watching, you guys really out outdone yourself. I I am I'm impressed. Man, Monaco Monica wasn't wrong with her descriptions of this place. The first thing I notice is the warm, cozy atmosphere it ra radiates, accompanied by some pleasant jazz. <laughs> of course, I know Sayori will like some good ol' relaxing jazz. Sayori seems impressed as well, given how much she's gushing over how the restaurant looks. As a waiter comes over to tend to us, I make a mental note to thank Monica the, time, the next time I see her. Well then, thank you, Monica, for the recommendation. Thank you. All of this stuff looks so tasty. Although, I don't know what half of it is. Then, how'd you know it's tasty? Sixth Sense. I don't know that a movie about ghosts to taught you about food. Not ghosts, silly. <laughs> I know, I know. Just messing. Are you going to have a starter? Hmm... I think I'll try the Chuan Shan Mushi. Wait, how do you say that? Uh, the Chao the Chao Wan Mushi with the shrimp. Chao Wan Mushi. Chao Wan Mushi. Okay. Wasn't aware that you like shrimp that much, but okay. It's not that every day I get to come here, so I figured it'd be a good idea to try something new. Not a bad idea, actually. I'll do the same. I think I'll go for the yakitori. So, you're probably wondering why I took you here today, right? It probably came across as kinda random. Yeah, a little. I don't mind, though. Well, I was thinking about Valentine's Day. I felt kinda bad we didn't get to do anything on the day just because I wasn't really feeling up to it. So I wanted to make it up to you. You didn't have to make anything up to me, Sayori. But you did. You were looking forward to spending the time with me, uh, the day with me, and I just told you to leave me alone. There was a reason for that. I didn't want to force anything, and besides, it's not like I chose to- I, it's not like you chose to have a bad day, was it? Well, no, but- So don't worry about it. I have much preferred we had a nice romantic evening together when you felt in the mood for one. Forcing one just because it was Valentine's is a pretty bad idea anyway. Anyway, the food here is great. Looks like Monica really knows her stuff, huh? Mm-hmm. The, the Chowan Mushi... The Chowan Mushi is so tasty. You know, it, it might be worth learning how to cook. Given how much you love food and how much I love seeing a smile on your face, it might be something to look into. You know. For the future. <laughs> For my future waifu. She blushes slightly. Speaking of which, I've been thinking about the future. Our future. I know it might seem a bit early though. <laughs> nah, it's pretty natural, right? I have those thoughts from time to time as well. Well then. Where do you think we'll be when we finish high school? Assuming you haven't got bored of me by then. Well, I don't know if, uh, well, I, I think I have a, a, a plan or a suggestion, unless if we're gonna go to the same college together, then that would be fine by me, unless if you have a different course. Finn, I never get bored of you. Kidding, kidding. In reality, well, I'd like to think we'd still be together, you know? Yeah, we've been only we've only been a couple for what two months, but honestly, just fe it feels a lot longer. Probably because we known for we known each other for so long, right? I take a bite of my food. It's really good. That's probably it. Yeah, I think we got really lucky in that in that respect. I read somewhere that the best relationships tend to form when the two people are best friends before they start dating. Why'd you think that is? Probably because they get to know each other really well before they get into a relationship, right? 
They know what their partner likes and dislikes, along with their hobbies, interests, and values. And because friends argue, fall out, and make up, each person, person would know how to handle the other when they fight, which is really useful when dating them. Also, it gives them a long time for their feelings to grow. Nothing is rushed or anything. Sounds like you've given it some thought. I like to think it's... I like to think about these f things. It really helps to keep the peace. Ah, I never thought about that. You can't really keep people happy if you don't understand them, right? Yep. You're really perceptive and smart. I always enjoyed seeing that side to you. Really? Well, uh, let's take the incident where you, uh, forgot your gloves back in November. It was pr a pretty clever way to get me to hold your hands, and it worked too. I don't know what it is about that crafty side of yours that is so alluring. Perhaps it's because I never knew when it's going to strike next. So, it always keeps me on my toes. There's always been much more to you than meets the eye, I guess. <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit devious, but it's kind of fun to play with people like that. Which is why it's all the more rewarding when I manage to get you back. We always try to up to one up each other, something that stayed with us since childhood. And what I love the most is that it's our unique little joke in joke in game. I don't know what the right wording would be. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I really enjoyed it too. It's our own little thing that no one could ever take away from us. Precisely. Sayori pushes her empty plate away from her. Unlike many times before, she didn't just wolf down her meal as fast as possible. Well, that wouldn't be very ladylike of her if, he sh if she just wolfed down her meal, especially in a fancy place like this. Like, come on, you know your table of manners, guys. Or, well... She knows her table manners, in other words. I'm sorry, I'm just saying. Nor did she take a remarkably amount, long amount of time to eat it. Looks like her appetite is a lot more consistent these days. Yes, that, her table manners, and of course, being a lady or a princess. Can I see the dessert menu? Only if you promise me that you won't buy the entire thing. Can't make that promise, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, cause she's a chowder. I hand the menu over to her. Her eyes light up as she scans the options. How many can you fit any more food in? Your main look really filling. Dessert doesn't go into the stomach, Finn. It goes to the heart. That may be the dumbest yet most profound thing I've heard in a while. Ooh, look, they have chocolate cake, and it comes with vanilla ice cream and sprinkles. You know what? You got me in a dessert mood now. Let's have two. <laughs> After a while, we finish our meal and the waiter comes over with the bill. Ouch. Well, at least what you at least you get what you pay for here. Of course, cuz got to get yourself prepared for a date. Got to have a lot of money. As I pull out my wallet, Sayori intervenes. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm paying for the- There's no way I'm letting you pay for this alone, Finn. It's okay, mom left me some money. That's not the point, silly. You already do so much for me, so this time I want to give something back to you. But I don't want you to pay for the entire thing either. It's hardly cheap. Nuh-uh, not this time. I open my mouth to argue, but Sayori's solution holds firm. Okay, okay, if you insist. Well then, um, my lady, go ahead. She smiles sweetly. I do. We pay the bill and stand up to leave. I'll find a way to slip some yen into her pocket when she isn't looking. Oh wow! We're outside now, it's night time? I mean, it was sunset before, but... Wow. This... This date is, is really something. And with me and Sayori under the stars and all, at night with no one around... Oh my glob, this is... This is just so beautiful and melancholy. I'll, uh, 
I'll express my thoughts in another video, but not now because we'll be here all day. Wow, look at the stars, Finn. She's shivering, a given, really, due to the temperature and the wind. The dress she's wearing probably doesn't help. Well, if you want, I could just... <coughs> well, I, I, I can't take it off. This, <laughs> this thing is really tight, kind of, but still, I'll be honest, th putting this coat on is a big, uh, a big pain in the butt to put on sometimes. Luckily, I came prepared. I pull out the hoodie from my backpack. Standing behind her, I help her into it. Once I'm done, I hug her close to me and plant a kiss into the back of her neck. Ah, even even though I still like her with the dress on, I mean, th with the hoodie and all, she just looks cute. And <laughs> again, Sayori, she's always so beautiful and cute. Oh my glove. Oh, okay. Are you, you know what? I'm, I'm taking this off. Just because, you know what? For the princess and all. So, so yeah. Uh, here, take it. It's way better than that hoodie, honestly. So, yeah, here, take it. They might look beautiful, Sayori, but they absolutely nothing. But they have absolutely nothing on you. <laughs> and thank you. Oh, for paying? It's nothing. I didn't want... Not for that. Thank you for taking a chance on me, for letting me back into your life and for letting me help you. You, kept ta you keep talking about how much I've done for you, but I don't think you I told you how much you've done for me. You gave me something to look forward to each and every morning. Even on the days where we didn't spend time together, just seeing you, if only for a minute, was enough to make my day better. It's all thanks to you that I was introduced to a world of poetry and a club filled with print, uh, a club filled with friendship. I didn't realize just how badly I was missing friendship in my life until that faithful day where you let me walk with you to school all those months ago. If it weren't for you, I would have probably spent my last two years of high school alone, become more and more of a neat by the day. Well, of course, if it wasn't for her, uh, Doki Doki Blue Skies wouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, time paradox, people. You've made such a positive change to my life, and I can't thank you enough for that. Aw, Finn. But there's so much more than that. Seeing your eyes shine when you laugh, seeing your nose scrunch up when you're thinking about something, hearing your laugh reminiscing about the good old days. A day never goes by where I don't consider myself the luckiest guy on the planet, all because a girl as beautiful and amazing as you are considers me her boyfriend. I don't know what to say, I... It's okay, Sayori. You don't have to say anything. I just wanted to let you know how much you mean to me, because you honestly are my world. I love hearing your laugh, I love seeing you smile. I love how you're a daily part of my life now. But most importantly, it's now or never. I love you, Sayori. Oh, -ho! we confessed. Yes. Well, that's it now. Those three words have been spoken. Uh. Um. <laughs> um. Sayori.exe has stopped responding or not working. <laughs> well then, um, I'll take her time. I'll take her some time to reboot for a little bit. Really? Really, really. I'm sorry if that came out of the blue or... I love you too, Finn. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. I was scared that I say it too soon. I didn't want to scare you or anything. I can't help but stifle a slight laugh. That's exactly how I've been feeling. We really are on the safe wavelength. She reaches up to wipe a few happy tears away. Well, tears of joy. It feels so good to finally be able to say it. It does. It really, really does. She turns around to face me with tears in her eyes. She slowly leans her face towards mine and we share a kiss. A kiss that feels entirely different to any other kiss we shared before. 
Is it because we fi we both finally exclaimed our love for each other? Or because we're doing the stereotypical thing of kissing under the moonlight? Who knows? We break apart, but our faces remain closed. Sayori's voice has lowered to a whisper and our eyes remain closed. She's shivering a little, but she carries on regardless. I can't believe we're actually in this situation right now. I had dreams about this moment where we'd get to say those three words. We open our eyes at the same time. I was so scared that this would feel wrong, or that it wouldn't match my expectations. I think that's another reason why I was scared of saying it too early. But I'm so glad we waited for the right moment. Me too, Sayori. It's all been worth it. She's, she laughs softly. I knew there's something, there was something about you, back when we first laid eyes on each other all those years ago. You always made me feel warm and fuzzy inside, and that never changed, no matter how many years had passed. It took me a long time to realize my feelings, and they were confusing. I didn't know why I'd find myself smiling for no reason. And even though the rain clouds were there, no matter how hard it rained, they could never put out that tiny little ember. That tiny little ember that it was you, which was always there. And I was... Brr. Well, looks like Mother Nature doesn't care in the slightest for romance. The cold winds, which were fairly dormant, have suddenly burst to life. We can continue this at home, don't worry. Y yeah not a bad idea. Or why don't you just go ahead and hug her? I laugh and pull her close to me, trying to warm her up. One speed, the power walk later and we're back home, savoring the warmth of the room. Luckily, the atmosphere hasn't been inter disrupted too much. Ah, that's much better. Now, what were you saying? She walks up to me and puts her hands on my face. Her thumb slowly massages my chin and her other hand goes up to stroke my hair. I was so scared to fall in love. Oh, and you took off the hoodie because of course, make yourself warm at home because, well, <laughs> yes. When you told me you liked me, I had no idea how to respond. And then, and as you saw, I panicked. She smiles ruefully. But things are different now. You helped me realize that it's okay to take the chance that maybe, just maybe, my own happiness isn't something I should hate. Things aren't entirely perfect, but I'm here where I am at now. You should be, Sayori. You've been so brave and you've overcome so much. And that's all because of you. You were once that little ember, but you grew into a roaring fire, a fire that refused to be put out. She kisses me once more. To my surprise, she uses her tongue again. Oh. Evolved tier 2 or, well, tier 3 in this matter. Immediately, my heart starts to race. I'm very well aware of what the atmosphere was like the last time she kissed me like this. And this time, there's no one around to interrupt, interrupt us. Of course, not even my phone, not even anyone, because it's just me and Sayori, so haha, <laughs> win-win! I kiss Sayori back uh, just as passionately, that hunger, the sense of urgency, it's all flooding back to the both of us. I need you, Finn. Goosebumps are up on over my arms. And there's so much more I could say, but I think there's a better way of showing how I feel. I can hearly hear her over the sound of my heart thumping in my chest. Is this really happening? What is? Are you sure? Her reply is barely a whisper, but the conviction and assurance are so strong it's almost like she shouted it. Yes. Tentatively, her hands start picking the buttons of my shirt. Her fingers feel warm and soft against my upper body and I watch with almost bated breath as she un Un undoes each button. Eventually, she undoes the last one and helps me slide the shirt off. I take a deep breath, savoring how her hands feel on my bare chest. Are you okay with this? 
Um, is this what I think it is, fellow knights? Um, uh, let's just, let's just get to it. Um, I'm not gonna stall for any longer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just really nervous. <laughs> That's okay. Me too. She turns around, exposing the zipper on the back of her dress. Wordlessly, I know what I'm expected to do. Before I pull the zipper down, I kiss her slowly across the back of her neck, causing her to moan slightly. Truth to be told, I have no idea what I'm doing, but from the sounds she just made, I guess it's working. With the zipper free, Sayori is able to wiggle out of her dress, and a far away part of me understands why she was so cold. With the dress off, the only thing she's left is in is her underwear. I can't help but stare at the sight in front of me. I've never seen Sayori in this state before. You're staring. Oh! Okay! Hey! <laughs> um. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, I'm freaking out on the inside and outside, but, uh, oh my god, Sayori, you're, hmm. Extra uh, thick! YouTube, please don't demonetize or, you know, strike this video down, but, okay, um, I've seen everything, um, well, you guys know the gist, <laughs> but okay, um, I guess, I guess you guys know what's going on right now, and same goes to me. I swallow. Can you blame me? You look amazing. She blushes. The flush of her of red on her face complements the navy of her underwear. As she fumbles for my belt, I have to remind myself that this is really happening. The girl I've loved since we were kids is practically naked standing in front of me undoing my belt. As the belt comes undone, I wriggle out of my trousers. Now we're both standing in just our underwear, both aware of what happens next. We share another kiss. With the majority of our clothes off, the tentative longing we're both em em emanating, al along with the feel of Sayori's uh, cinnamon buns on my chest. There's a tender kind of intimacy in the situation that we're both reveling in, in contrast against the sense of urgency in the moment. With shaking fingers, I lean towards Sayori's back. I feel around with the straps of her bra, but as expected, I have no, no clue how to undo it. She lets out a light giggle. Having trouble? It's not like undoing a bra is something I have experience with. Why are these things like a dang Rubik's Cube? <laughs> what? Undoing a female's um, garment or top is, is like a Rubik's Cube? Come on, that got nothing with some Transformers I have. These things are way better than a Rubik's Cube. They aren't. <laughs> Here, all you have to do is unhook it like this. My breath catches in my throat as it finally becomes undone. I pull back so, I, so I'm in front of her once more, and in one fluid motion, her bra comes free. Okay, 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 um, uh, okay, uh, Sayori, your cinnamon buns, uh, okay, yes, I, um, I'm, I'm going to censor that still, but, oh <laughs> my glove, okay, but, oof, mm. Mmm. Hmm. Uh, yeah, just uh, check my pants real quick. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say or describe really, but still. Okay, um. Is it time? Is it finally tier 15? You look beautiful. She giggles shyly as she covers herself up with her arms. Sorry. I know they aren't as big as Yuri's or... I take her by surprise as I start kissing her neck, an area that she seems to take particular pleasure from. Feeling a little more daring, I keep going further down before I knew it. I gently cur 
caressing her cinnamon buns in my hands, while my tongue gently glides over them. While, while all the while I'm planting passionate kisses over her chest, causing her moans to grow louder. It doesn't matter, they're great just the way they are. And of course, don't be insecure, Sayori. Her hands are gently caressing my hair as I continue kissing her body. Once I've started, it's almost impossible to stop. Those sexual urges that I've been kept at bay since our first tickle fight have finally free reign. And dang, if I stop them. <laughs> oh, the tickle fight. Well, okay, looks like we're definitely doing it, fellow knights. All of my senses are being stimulated right now. The strangely enticing smell of her pheromones, along with the allure of her taste. Also, um, another thing, clench those butt cheeks. Get ready. The sound of her moans, the sight of her body, it's almost a sensory overload, but it's not unpleasant in the slightest. I stand up and look in her eyes. Wordlessly, she slips off the final article of clothing on her body and I follow suit. Now we're truly exposed. I should feel vulnerable, after all. Who wouldn't, when they're naked? But with Sayori? No, vulnerable would be the wrong word. I feel safe. The intimacy between us is like a warm cocoon. The silence stretches on for what feels like much longer as we take the sight of each other in. The gentle curve of her hips, the smooth allure to her skin. How perky and shapely her cinnamon buns are, along with the endearing, shy expression on her face. This might have been her idea, but it's clear that she's just as nervous as I am. But most of all, Actually seeing her like this, in an, su such an exposed intimate state. There's a slight air of awkwardness, but I guess this is a given. At least we can share the awkwardness with each other. Wait, I don't have any, uh, you know. She nods wordlessly and reaches the pocket of her dress, pulling out a foil package. I raise an eyebrow. What? I just like to plan ahead a little. <laughs> I decide not to press it, given the situation we're in. Oh, looks like we're uh, we're gonna have some protection, of course, because of course we're still well young and all, and uh, guess we're gonna have it do it the uh, the real way after marriage in the future. That is. <laughs> after fumbling around for a few moments, we're set. At this point, my already ranging hormones have decided to take over. I gently push her down towards the bed, with my lips never once separating from hers. She understands my intention and wordlessly complies, slowly sinking down. Censor all that and uh, man, my voice. Oh man, it's a good thing I have my water bottle with me. So, mm, man, that was oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Well, fellow knights, we finally did it. We did tier 15 with Sayori. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, MC, you son of a gun. I am so proud of you, army, because. I'm the one who chose this route, but still, I finally did it! We did tier 15! <laughs> there you go, fellow knights! Enjoy this while you can! Even though if this is censored or uncensored, I don't care! But if it's on YouTube, I'm sorry, I do not want YouTube's YouTube to catch me. Well, y you know the gist, because of course I don't want to get in trouble. Still, ah, uh, hmm. You best be grateful, because, well, uh, 
Uh, who knows if I'm going to uh, release an uncensored version or whatever, but you guys get the point. I sink down with her, resting so that my elbows are on either side of her, with my hands on either side of her face. My weight rests on my elbows while as I slowly maneuver myself so that I'm positioned between her legs. I'm tenderly thumbing her cheeks as I do so, her eyes flutter open and closed. Eventually, I'm at what I think is the right spot. She gives me the tiniest of nods. It's small, but I can read what it says. I'm ready. Doing my best to ignore how loudly my heart is beating, I start to slowly insert myself inside her. The uh, same feeling, honestly, like, wow, um, hmm. <clears throat> she immediately gasps. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just didn't know what to expect. I can stop if you like. She closes her eyes once more, he breathing in heavily. No, it's fine. Keep going. She wraps her arms around my neck and smiles out at me. It's okay. I nod back at her, resuming my position. As I slowly slide myself into her once more, waves of pleasure shoot through my body. This warm, wet sensation is completely foreign to me, but it feels like, but it feels absolutely incredible. I involuntarily let out a grunt as this feeling courses through my veins. Sayori moans with satisfaction, squirming slightly underneath me. Okay, um, I don't know if YouTube would still get me for this one, but still, um, they won't notice, so I don't care. As I push further, her moans grow louder. I'm all the way inside her in this point, and the feeling has grown stronger and stronger. Sayori start slowly starts moving her hips to match the rhythm that I'm using. Her movements sync perfectly with mine, causing my breathing to become ragged. I never experienced anything remotely as satisfy satisfying as this in my entire life. All the while, Sayori's uh, cinnamon buns are is gently heaving up and down. Goosebumps are visible on the surface of her skin, and there's a flush visible on her face. She's biting her lip in pleasure, the sight of which spurs me on to try going a little bit faster. Ah, that's incredible. Every push inside her feels like heaven. Clearly, it's not just me feeling this way, as I can feel Sayori's nails rake down my back. Doesn't hurt or anything, but I'm glad she's enjoying this just as much as I am. Eventually, I start to feel some kind of buildup. I know what's coming. With each thrust, I can feel my limit rapidly drawing near. Sayori, I... There's no stopping now. With one final thrust, I finally surrender. For a few seconds, I lose control of my body as the waves of pleasure grow to dizzying levels. Sayori also carries out as her body shudders as well. In that moment, we both lose control, surrendering ourselves to nature. Oh, okay, I know my face is slightly blocking it, but okay, I can see her hearts in her eyes, her eyes shape, heart-shaped eyes in her blue eyes, and I think that just looks adorable. Uh. Silence, broken only by the sounds of our panting. I roll off Sayori, breathing heavily. A light sheen of sweat is coating the both of us, not surprising given the intense body heat we are sharing. We sit up, briefly dispose of the con- A uh, what? The- Oh, the protection? Okay. Well, I sit up briefly to dispose of the protection as Sayori slips her underwear back on. I guess she's still a little self-conscious. I smile tenderly at her as she snuggles up to me, particularly after our climax, it feels incredibly intimate to have her this close to me. I don't know how to fake the silence. Luckily, Sayori does it for me. Finn? Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you too, Sayori. That was absolutely incredible. She giggles softly. It really was. Silence, again. It's not comfortable though, I'm trying to rack my, off my brains for what I want to say the most. 
I think this has been the best day of my life so far. Mine too, Finn. Mine too. The dreamy tone in her voice makes me smile. Oh, Sayori. You're perfect. Literally. There isn't a single thing that I change about you. She opens her mouth to protest. On instinct, I know what she's going to say. Yes, even your depression. I've been so proud of you. You've come such a long way. From opening up to me, agreeing to therapy, eventually having the strength to do it alone. I'm so happy that I'm able to, been, to have been by your side. I know we've been together for two months, but honestly, it feels a lot longer. There's a silence for a moment. I don't know what to say, Finn. I really don't. Except, thank you, and I love you. I couldn't have imagined doing any of this without you. You're the best boyfriend a girl could ever ask for. Eh, it's nothing special. It's you who... No, you really are, Finn. You're just too modest to see it. You've always been so caring and loving towards me. Since day one, you've always made it your mission to put a smile on my face. Something you've always succeeded at. You're the sunshine in my life. The light that's there to guide me through my darkest days. Something that I'll be so... I'll always be so... So grateful for. You haven't just given me a reason to smile. No, you gave me something I thought I'd never lost. You gave me hope. Actual, genuine hope. And that maybe, just maybe, things might be okay. Ah. What's going on? Oh. Now that's one background I've never seen. Doki Doki Blue Skies. Director Sir Swampert, uh, Kiori, original concept, uh, J. Guananot. Writers Sir Swampert, Kiori, Ultra Insect Shaggy, Tiffany, Glyphlin, Bullet, Tactical Cupcakes. Oh! Hello there. Uh, oh, it's the. Um, we got some artwork in the ending as well. MC, Sayori, oh, they're holding on to each other. This is it? Artists, Kiori, Sir, Black Rabbit, Artworks, Rashi, Crash Punk. Oh man, the, the mod team really outdid them, outdone themselves with this one, and I'm really, really impressed. Oh, hello, Monica. Shiori? Okay. <laughs> Aw, yeah, we got a little doggo. I assume that's her doggo, I think. Then, well, that's cute. Oh! Uh, Sakurai Sensei and Mom C? What? Okay. I'm not sure if there's some. if they have something in store, but. let's not think about that. And Emmy. <laughs> oh, and I didn't know that she's wearing uh, striped uh, striped um, stockings. Website crush. Special thanks. Dan Salvato, Spaghetto, Afro Zero, Master Crafter, Twelve Guys, Just Guys seven, Six, and finally, you. Ah. For staying with us for a ride, no matter how long it was. Ah, And there's MC with the whole team. And they lived happily ever after. <sighs> well then, after, well, going through the whole thingamajig and all that stuff, the ending is absolutely beautiful and cute and intimate all that and also melancholy and really touching it really touched my heart like really it really does oh man well i i guess um after playing this mod i'd say this one became my 
top one favorite next to a Doki Doki Salvation, and uh, I'd say this is definitely one of the best DDLC mods I've played so far, but who knows, it might change my mind if I'll play more of them, or play more out there and stuff like that, but still, this one reigns supreme for me as my top one, solely because of the, uh, the Sayori Road end ending, well, good ending, and uh, as for the bad ending, I don't know, uh, you guys let me know in the comments down below if you want me to take a look at that one, and uh, yeah, so, well, uh, I guess that's it for Doki Doki Blue Skies, everyone, uh, fellow knights, and this was really a fun ride, and I really, really enjoyed playing it, and of course, I know you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I do, so if you guys want to give it a replay, go ahead, the, uh, the playlist is right here, right well, somewhere there, so yeah. So anywho, if you enjoy what you're watching and like what you're seeing, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't already, it'll help me a huge bunch in making more content like this. And click on the bell notification to be notified, and if you want to play this mod for yourself, as always, link in the description below. And before I end, I wanted to say this, uh, Sir Swampert or anyone from the mod dev team who's watching this, you guys really outdid yourself and I'm really, really impressed. Even though I only covered the Sayori route, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I really love to do a review on this on this mod at some point in the future. So I don't know. Like I said, let me know in the comments down below. So with that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching. Finn the Dark Knight signing off, and I'll see you guys next time. And as always, stay awesome and have fun, fellow knights and adventurers.